there are many Muslims who say that the Quran is meant to be read with understanding only by the alims, only by the scholars. A layman Muslim should not try to understand the Quran. The Quran is meant to be read with understanding only by the alims, only by the scholars. I started my talk by quoting a verse of the Quran, which is also recited by the Qari in the beginning of the program, which occurs in Surah Qamar, chapter number 54, no less than four times. Surah Qamar, chapter 54, verse number 17, verse number 22, verse number 32, and verse number 40. وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرَانَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِمُدَّقِرِ We have made the Qur'an easy for you to understand and memorize. Then which of you shall not receive admonition? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, says that we have made the Qur'an easy for you to understand. Then which of you shall not receive admonition? Allah says in the Quran in several places, in several verses, including Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 242. La so that they will understand. Allah says in Surah Hijar, chapter number 15, verse number 1, Alif Lam Ra. Tilka ayatul kitab wal Quran al Mubin. That Alif Lam Ra. These are the verses of the Quran that make things clear to you. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that this Quran, we have made it easy for you to understand. Allah says, so that they understand. Allah says, we have revealed the verse of the Quran so that it will make things clear to you. So who will you obey? Who will you follow? Those Muslims who say that the Quran was only meant for the scholars to understand it, or should we follow the guidance of the Creator? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that it was made easy for the human beings to understand. If you don't understand certain things, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nahl, chapter number 16, verse 43, and Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 7, Allah says that if you do not know, ask the person who possesses the message. Ask the person who possesses the knowledge. That if you do not know anything, if you do not possess the message, ask the person who's knowledgeable. For example, if the Quran speaks about science, who will go and ask? Will you ask the cobbler? Will you ask the barber? You will ask a scientist. Because a scientist is an expert in the field of science. A scientist is an alim in the field of science. Similarly, if the Quran speaks about medicine, who will you ask? But naturally, you will ask a doctor. Because a doctor is an alim He's an expert in the field of medicine. Similarly, if you want to know something about Nuzul Quran, who will you ask? You'll ask an alim who has gone to Dalar Ulum, maybe for seven years, for ten years, a person who's expert about the Nuzul Quran. So depending upon what field you want to know, you have to ask an expert in that field. So the Quran says that while reading the Quran, if you have certain problems, you can surely very well ask a person who's an expert in that field. 